In the depths of the Cold War, a new predator emerged from the Soviet Union. This was not your average hunter. This was the Alpha-class submarine. The Soviets designed this submarine to be a nightmare for NATO navies. It was a marvel of engineering, pushing the limits of what was thought possible. The Alpha-class was fast, it was stealthy, and it was very, very expensive. This submarine was a gamble for the Soviets, a high-stakes bet on a revolutionary design. The Alpha-class story is a fascinating blend of innovation and risk. It's a tale of ambition clashing with the realities of cost and practicality. The Alpha class, though flawed, left a lasting mark on naval history. Let's dive deeper into the world of the Alpha class, exploring what made it so unique and why it ultimately fell short of its full potential. The most striking feature of the Alpha class was its hull. Unlike most submarines which used steel, the Alpha class was built with titanium. This gave it a significant advantage. Titanium is incredibly strong. It can withstand immense pressure, allowing the Alpha class to dive deeper than any other submarine at the time. But strength wasn't the only benefit. Titanium also has a low magnetic signature. This made the Alpha class very difficult to detect using magnetic anomaly detectors, a common tool for finding submarines. The Alpha class was a ghost in the water, a silent predator lurking in the depths. This combination of strength and stealth was revolutionary. The Alpha class represented a new generation of submarine warfare, one that prioritized speed, agility and invisibility. The Alpha class was designed to be fast. It needed to be to outrun torpedoes and other threats. To achieve this, the Soviets equipped it with a unique power source, a lead bismuth cooled reactor. This reactor was incredibly powerful for its size. This, combined with the Alpha class's streamlined design, allowed it to achieve speeds of over 40 knots. This was unheard of for a submarine at the time. Most submarines could only manage half that speed. The Alpha class was in a league of its own. This speed gave the Alpha class a tactical advantage. It could quickly reach its patrol areas, evade enemy attacks and strike with surprise. This made it a valuable asset for the Soviet Navy, which was always looking for an edge in the underwater arms race. Section 4. A pricey proposition, the cost of innovation. The Alpha class was a technological marvel, but it came at a price, literally. The use of titanium was expensive. The lead bismuth reactor, while powerful, was complex and difficult to maintain. These factors made the Alpha class incredibly expensive to build and operate. The Soviet Union, already facing economic challenges, could only afford to build a handful of these submarines. This limited their strategic impact. Furthermore, the Alpha class was not without its flaws. The lead bismuth reactor, while innovative, was prone to problems. There were incidents of leaks and other malfunctions, raising concerns about safety and reliability. Section 5. Conclusion. A lasting impact. The Alpha class submarine was a bold experiment, a glimpse into the future of submarine warfare. It showcased the ingenuity of Soviet engineers and their willingness to push boundaries. However, it also highlighted the challenges of balancing innovation with practicality. The Alpha class's high cost and operational issues ultimately limited its effectiveness. It was a technological marvel that never quite reached its full potential. Despite this, the Alpha class left a lasting legacy. Its titanium hull and high-speed capabilities influenced future submarine designs. The Alpha class serves as a reminder that technological progress is often a double-edged sword. It brings new possibilities but also new challenges. The Alpha class, though flawed, remains a testament to the enduring quest for technological superiority in the depths of the ocean.